Well, I believe that uh, for the short term, Russia may very well continue with the same approach, the same policy. But there's no question in my mind that this is a dead-end approach. That is, everyone today admit and concede that the fact that, that the Assad regime will not survive. The question is for Russia what to do if they lose the opportunity, the opportunity now to be able to shape the rising new political order in, in Syria. And so I think it is time for the Russian government to review, to reconsider their policy toward the President uh, Assad of Syria and begin to think of a new approach. My feeling in this regard, the United States and Russia are to get together and begin to fashion a new strategy whereby Russia itself could have a face-saving way out while ensuring that the Assad regime, you know, no longer uh, remain in power, on the, possibly by, for example, offering uh, President Assad and his cohorts um, a, a safe exit from uh, Syria. Perhaps Russia itself would receive him, maybe Iran for that matter. And I think by doing so, the Russia, Russia and the United States may be able to preserve their interest in the region and, and more, more important than that is to ensure that Syria will not fall apart because of the many uh, tribes and many factions within Syria itself, to mention just a few, the Alawite, the Christian, the Sunnis, the Kurds, and so it is best for the United States and Syria and, 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 United, and Russia to begin to think in those terms. I think if Russia continue with this path, is going to end up to be the ultimate loser. Because as I said earlier, there is no doubt in my mind, and in the mind of many keen observers of the Middle East, that Assad is finished. The question is whether Russia wants to stick to him to the bitter end. And if they do, not only the Syrian people will reject Russia's uh, approach because they see Russia as a complicit to the massacres and the murders that are taking place in, in uh, Syria, but also the Arab states. The whole Arab world will be extremely resentful of this current policy, and I think Russia is, is keenly aware that this could happen, and for that reason, they may begin to think of alternative approach to the crisis in Syria.